We've all done it, though. Mm-hmm. I'm asking the audience out there, what knives have you guys sold that you look back on and you regret selling? We've all done it. We, I think we all have. We're going to do it again, too. Probably. Mm-hmm. We keep telling ourselves that we're going to do it less, though. Like, yeah, but we're more we cautious, just keep doing it. More cautious of what we sell. Mm-hmm. The problem can be sometimes they'll discontinue a knife, and you're like, man, why did I sell that knife? Now I, I can't know. get it. Then we can't get it again. Or if you can get it, it's like double Way the price. Way more expensive, yeah. Right. Well, thankfully, the knife we have today, we were able to score it again. Yes, we were. In a different color, though. Factory blue. I like this one better, I think. I do too. This is the Kaiser CO1C Sheepdog mm-hmm. by Chris Conaway. In the blue. Check that out, you guys. Yeah, this is a factory job. I'm glad they did this. With the gold hardware? I really like it. Frankie, we did this video shortly after it was released. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it was the summer of, well, it was July of 2016. Almost two years ago. Going on two years ago. Yeah. And we loved crazy. it. I think it was the first or one of the first of the Prime or Bladesmith series from yeah, Kaiser that I think we got. So. I fell in love with it. Mm-hmm. And then you went and sold it. It's a little weird. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But we got it back. Yes, we did. Forget all that nonsense. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. You guys were out in the park. Yes. It's getting sunny, too. Frankie and I are on this like little podium thing. And we're pedestal. presenting to the world. Yeah, we're looking down on the world. Down here. Yeah, just the one guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the sheepdog. Frankie, the folding cleaver. Yes. Love it. Mm-hmm. They also have the zoo gang. We did sell the zoo gang, but I always did prefer this knife. I know. That's another one that we regret selling to. <laughs> yeah, and they changed that one. So good luck getting the original. I know. Wow, that's some serious sunlight That's there. really bright. Whew. Pretty cool. So check our old review on on this knife. But a little uh, quick update. Yeah, it's kind of a well, it's kind of a bigger knife, in the sense that I guess it's tall, takes up a lot of space this it's way. Thick. It is eh, a little on the well, thicker I meant, side. I meant upright thickness. Yes. Height. That, I refer to it as height. Tall. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But the blade length, kind of average at 3.25 inches. Who do you call an average? <laughs> he doesn't mind. <laughs> Look at this though. Total uh, pocket cleaver. Yeah. Just a nice even curvature on it's the blade. It's called a pocket butcher. Pocket butcher? Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. Still a little bit of point for uh, piercing there. Frankie, you can see. You used him? I used it today already. Now, it still counts even though I was opening another package of knives. <laughs> you can see that there. Yeah. Part of the Bladesmith series, so premium materials. Frankie, we're talking um, on the blade still there. We're talking, well, okay. There's two kinds of blade steels in this world. Yes, there is. You've got um, 8CR13 MOV. Yeah, it's true. Mm-hmm. And then you've got CPM S35VN. This is your premium S35VN. <laughs> <laughs> no, we joke about it. Uh, I know. Kaiser actually uses VG10 in their, in their uh, Vanguard line, and then they go to S35 for their premium stuff. Great blade steel. Uh, edge retention, excellent. Corrosion resistant, excellent. We've got no complaints with that. Yeah, that's with, great. With uh, great S35. Stuff. Yep. Yep. Stone wash finish on that. That's a flat ground. It's got a decent belly to it, too. Yep. Yep. Very usable type of design. Sharpening choil there. On the mm-hmm. old knife, I had sharpened it. I put a great uh, mirror edge. Are you gonna, you'll, you'll have to put in a mirror edge on this one, too. I will. Well, somebody out there has got a uh, comment, whoever you are, who's got my old knife. Oh, true. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Some good flat there for clamping into for various sharpening systems, mm-hmm. though. It's got a decent flipper tab. Kind of yeah. a thick little, thick little. Thick <laughs> makes, little. Uh-huh. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, it's kind of the whole knife in general. Uh-huh. No. Yeah, he is thick and little at the same time. Would you call him Chody? No, no. <laughs> we will talk about that, though, coming up. I don't know if that knife will qualify. We're talking about mm-hmm. the yet-to-be-released, at the time of this filming, anyway. The, Soon. The Vanguard Sheepdog, which is smaller. So excited for him. I want to say it's a 2.7-ish oh. blade. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a little smaller than this. Oh, he's going to be so cute. Yeah, we're really looking forward to mm-hmm. that. Yeah. What was I getting at, though? Yeah, the flipper tab itself, very nice flipping action on this knife. You can see there, no jimping or anything like that. You don't need it. Very smooth action. And maybe it's because, okay, we are talking, this is on bearings. Yeah. Maybe it's because of the weight to the blade. 
Yeah, it flips very well. Very smooth retraction. This is one of the smoother knives. There it is. Love the pivot collar on there too. The and then it gold. has well, and it has silver barrel spacers with gold. It kind of has two tone colors going on. So silver, gold, bronze, bronze for the clip. So it has kind of all kinds of colors going on. I love it. this one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Currently, Frankie sold out. I know. So I was a little nervous. We were able to score this one, and it's great. Yeah. I. I do believe, though, um, this is a fairly popular model, and they will be restocking these. They, Kaiser will be putting uh -huh. out more of these, and then the plain finish. But yeah, yep. It's Bearings. kind of a little bit heavier. Yeah, and it's got skeletonized titanium scales there on this side, anyway. Actually, so you can see in there. There you go. Yeah, flow through design. Excellent. What are we looking at here, Frankie? Ooh, that's heavier than I thought. Yeah, that's what I, I thought it <laughs> was heavier. Six point one. Yeah. yeah. All right. A little bit heavier. It, well, it's that type of knife, though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like a little bit, a little bit kind of novelty. Yeah. Maybe almost kind of art knife, although it's plenty functional. It's got a little heft to it. Well, there's some compromise with that, and I don't mind. I don't mind carrying yeah. a knife like this at all. Okay. What are we at? Exactly average. I thought it was a little thicker than that. Yeah. Okay. Right Point about average at half an inch, half inch thick. Uh -huh. Well, speaking of that blade stock thickness is 0.16 a little bit thicker on the blade stock yep tapers down nicely though with that flat grind and he's tip up which is how it should be and right? right hand only sorry lefties sorry lefties no cheap dog unless mm -mm. you adapt a lot of them just adapt though don't they yes yeah. yes that's what we've learned over the years mm -hmm. they adapt to their surroundings <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> Very cool knife. So glad to have this one back. Frankie, we did our Kaiser collection uh -huh. recently. A lot of comments about where, where's your sheepdog? Where's the where's sheep your dog? sheepdog? Yeah, and it's like, well, we don't have We it. let him go. <laughs> we, we let, let him, him go. go into the universe. We and don't worry, out. he came back and he came back as blue. Yeah. He came back as a blue sheepdog. Where's his edge though? Did we say the price on this one? 204, right? 204 dollars. Uh -huh. Alright, that's the Blade HQ prices. You may be able to find them higher or lower depending on where your source is. Right. Um, yeah, totally worth the money. One of my favorites. Uh, we did the pick three in our video the other day on our collection. Now that this exists, though, this is going to have to be one Ooh. of those top three for me. All uh -huh. right. Yeah, and I did oh, bring... Oh, you probably have your other three here. Well, I'll go ahead and kick out, even though it doesn't deserve it, the bag letter. All right. Poor bag letter. And I got to keep in the Megatherium. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. All right, and I think these knives are really kind of comparable in a lot of ways. Yeah, they really are. Megatherium's even bigger. Well, yeah, it makes them look small compared to a Megatherium. It's really not that huge of a knife. I know. I was surprised. I, I kind of forgot how little he was. Mm -hmm. All right, is this your top three then, right That's here? That's probably my top three right there. Which knife is this one? Your slut. Yep. There's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the edge. Mm -hmm. Right. I always love to show those off. I've got some audience right here. Come on, geese! Come on, come on! Dang! Oh, there's a goot. There's a fight. Some action. They should be making babies soon. Anyway, there's that edge on there that I'll be putting. I should probably do it on both these knives, shouldn't I? Yeah, Same you should. They're my favorites. Yep. But then another one that's probably comparable is the GPB one. Yep. Another one of John Gray's knives. Let's go like that. Oh, those colors look pretty together. Yeah. I like this is an aftermarket uh, job. This was done yep. by Fanatic Edge. Excellent knife. One that I probably don't carry enough. Mm -hmm. uh, very usable type of design. Kind of a pocket kitchen knife type of design. They're kind of about the same weight. Yeah. They're all chunky. And I love all of these knives. Yeah. Can I, I come to the party? <laughs> this is the only other Kaiser <laughs> that we brought. Yeah, thank you. He's kind of packing his way in. Yeah. The reason why I'm at the party is I'm going to be the same price as the little Vanguard. Oh, okay, yes. Let's talk about that. <laughs> so, the new version of the CO1C Sheepdog. All right, have you guys heard of this yet? Depending on when you're watching, it may yes. be released. Um, at the time of this video, it's supposed to be another month or so. We're talking the, the Vanguard, so the budget version with VG10 Steel is going to be released. All right, and it's going to be smaller, probably, what, a Two third? How many inches did you say? I want to say 2.6 inches on the blade. 
I'll show a picture. I'll okay. bring in a picture right now so you can see that. Kaiser's been posting them on their uh, on their Instagram. So total length of 2.6 inches. Some, something like that, 2.7, somewhere in there. So yeah. think of, okay, I, I did the, our fancy caliper. Pittsburgh tools, nothing but the best. So think about that. The blade is going to be about that long. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he's going to be so cute, and it's going to be in black and green which will probably end up getting both you guys it's mm -hmm. just that kind of knife i yeah. can't wait for it i think it's going to be a big hit for them mm -hmm. um so and yes for. so you bring out this knife it's going to be this price frankie kaiser is already saying the street price 69 dollars yeah. Six <laughs> celebration 69 dollars yeah. no that's really not bad mm -hmm. it's and it's going to be roughly this this kind of quality is what we can expect yeah it's going to be for awesome. this design I brought the Megatherium also for that. Are we gonna see a mini version, or perhaps the same thing, a mini that would be sweet budget too. version Come of the on, Megatherium? Elijah. Yeah. Come I, on. I, it, Come on. If this knife sells enough, it'll, it'll happen. That'd be. And it sweet. should. It should sell enough. This thing's um, awesome. A uh, mini Therium. Mini Therium. Yeah. That's what we should call it. I think that's what. Mini Therium. Uh, I don't think we came up with that. Though. I think we completely just did. I'm sure. <laughs> we. I'm sure they will have thought uh, of that. No, no, we completely just came up with that. Okay, we should get royalty. <laughs> Royalties on that. Excellent knives, though. Glad to have this one back. You guys mm -hmm. can stop commenting about why did you sell it. I, I made a mistake. You it's guys. because it, we wanted to have it come back in blue. Yeah. That's yeah. why. But he's missing his edge, though. I know. Yeah. Right. Well, you wanted to, like I said, send them out into the world into a sharp edge. <sighs> and yeah. Exactly. All right, Frankie. <laughs> the weather's nice enough. Let's get out there and get a walk in. And okay, okay. I guess I should get sharpening later after yes, that. Yes, you yeah. should. <laughs> All Put right. your edge on him. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining us, guys. Bye.